So in this screencast, I'm just going to give you a high-level overview of what um, Dative is and what the major components are in Dative. So there's three major types of three major types of component in Dative, and the first one is the form, which we see here. And a form represents a sentence like this one, or it could represent a word or just a single morpheme. And we see it has a bunch of metadata at the bottom, like who entered it, when was it entered, and then it has other data like files associated to it and identifiers. But the main thing is the transcription, the morpheme break, the glosses for each morpheme here, and the translation. So this is the primary component or the primary resource that you will be using in Dative is creating forms for the sentences that you elicit or that your speakers give you. Um, what you can also work with is files. So a file representing a digital file such as an audio file as we see in this case or a video file, an image, um, maybe even a textual file like a PDF or, or something like that. These are all represented by files in, in the Dative system. So here we see an example of an audio file and it too has metadata about it. Um, and it's a recording of me saying Winnie Weedy Weeky. Winnie Weedy Weeky. <laughs> um, but we see here that it's connected, it's associated to the form we were looking at previously. So here we can click on the name of the file that we've associated to this form, and we can see that information about it that we saw on the other page. We can open it up here and play Winnie it. Weedy Weeky. Uh, we can see more information about it. We could even update it here if we wanted to. Uh, you can minimize this or you can close it. And that's the same with other related entities in the form. So we're not going to talk about users, but they're pretty simple. But this was entered by me, the user Joel Dunham. If you click on that, you can see more information uh, about that user. Okay, so that's forms and files. Now, Often what you want to be able to do is take your forms and your files and group them into collections. So that's what collections are for. Um, this shows you a demo collection um, which contains one of the forms that we just looked at. So here we see it has um, various formatted text around it and it's describing what's happening. So you could use this to describe an elicitation, a record of an elicitation. And, um, and what you do to create this, you create this like any other entity, any other resource in the data of OLD system, but what you do to uh, insert those forms in there is you write all your prose if you even want it, that's not necessary, but in this contents field you enter the strings like form bracket one uh, and bracket and that says I want you to insert form number one here. Um, yeah, so then you could save that. It's already been saved, so we're not going to change it. And what you'll see initially is you won't see these forms displayed right away. You'll have to go up and click on More Controls and click to Display Referenced Forms. This will also refresh it. So if the form has changed in the meantime, this will refresh it in this display here. Um, so that is how collections work uh, overall. And there's one other way of... of uh, grouping forms together besides collections and these are corpora. Now a collection is is different from a corpus. A collection has this text that you see here, right? You can put any kind of annotations in there with formatting, bullet lists, stuff like that. A corpus is different. Um, so here we see a corpus that contains all of the V initial verbs in our database and this corpus is based on a search. So you can save searches as well in the system. So it's based on this search, which also gives you verbs beginning with the letter V. So then we can see if we click on it, open it up, we can see the information about this search. And this is the search that's, per, that's being performed. It's saying, I want the transcription to match this regular expression, which says beginning of string, little v or big V. And I want the syntactic category name to be a verb too. So we know to be V so that we know it's a verb. So within the search, we can count how many, it says there's three words like that in our database, and the corpus, we can click on its controls, 
and we can count it and it should tell us the same thing. There's three because the corpus is just referring to the search. Um, and then we can browse this corpus here and it will bring it up in the standard forms browse interface all the forms that are contained in that corpus. So I think that's all I'll show you for now, but uh, forms, files, collections, and corpora are the main high-level components that you use in Dative to organize your data.